CT allows us the opportunity to visualize other causes of pain, as I mentioned, and integrating the history and the physical exam and imaging is really a very, very powerful tool. And it's fantastic and very gratifying to be there and see the patient, examine the patient, uh, then scan the patient, and sometimes even put a BB on where the patient's pain is and see if that's where it is. It's a really a wonderful tool to have at your disposal. Not everybody comes in with the dermatoma, as this fellow did, outlined beautifully. This is the L4 dermatoma, and he said, this is where I hurt. Chris took this picture. I think it's beautiful, because here's the L4. No, sometimes they, they come in just saying, my back hurts or my leg hurts. And uh, the clinician is forced to say, well, let's try an injection. Here's an example of a person who had arm and neck pain. And um, they looked at the plain films and examined the patient and said, well, let's do an injection at C6-7, because that's the degenerative disc on the plain film. And when we got in there, 6-7 looks just fine, but 5-6, which looked very normal on a, a plain film, had a lateral disc herniation. And in fact, when we talked to the patient, she had shoulder and upper arm pain. She didn't have C7 radiculopathy. Even though the clinician had asked for a C7 injection, we sort of did it because I was a little afraid not to, not to do what they asked, but I went ahead and injected C5, and this is where her pain relief was. So it's an example of being able to integrate uh, the physical exam and the, uh, and the image at, at one time. And just one final exam, this patient was referred to us with a thoracic back pain. They did an MR, and they saw these perineural cysts, and they said, let's inject the perineural cysts. Well, when she came in, um, she was about 85 or so, 80-something. I said, well, let's put a, a BB on where you can you point with your finger where the pain is. And she put her finger right on the pain. We put a BB on, and it was eight centimeters away from her perineural cyst. And we looked at where the BB was, and there was this degenerative uh, costovertebral, costotransverse joint. Put a needle down there, injected, pain went away. So it's an example of how you can integrate the history and physical exam. And this is just one last wonderful case of a guy who had terrible back, had facet injections, did pretty well, but still had recurrent right pain, and I noticed that he had a pseudarthrosis between the transverse process of L5 and the sacrum. We see this not uncommonly in these patients with low back pain. You can see he's got a little scoliosis. So I said, well, why don't you come back one more time, and we'll put a needle down there just to see, because there's sclerosis. When I put a needle in right here, he complained of the pain absolutely similar to his usual pain, exacerbated. We injected contrast and steroid pain went away. So it's a wonderful example of how you can integrate both these um, techniques and actually see the patient getting better.